morning everyone welcome back to my channel my name is lisa if you're new around here and today's video is a vlog um it is monday today so we've had a lovely weekend it was so beautiful this weekend so sunny mark started cricket again so the cricket season is back and the boys also went to cricket on friday night because they've started their cricket club now so that was really cute saturday i can't remember what i did now on saturday hmm it was that good. <laughs> no, on Saturday actually we went to this place called Lynmouth, which was really lovely. That is quite local to us, but it's a really pretty little kind of town. Um, so we did that and then on Saturday night we had our little home disco for Renzo's birthday because it was his birthday last Wednesday. So we saved it until Saturday to have his disco. So I've just been tidying up the balloons from his birthday because they were still hanging around from last week. So I've sorted that out. Do some like gardening bits today because you guys seem to like the gardening footage that we've been sharing with you. Obviously it's such a long process doing a garden up, but we have got to do some more bits in the garden today. And I'll also give you a little tour of what my dad and Mark did the other day just to show you how it's looking now. So it looks lovely. But yeah, we're gonna have a lovely day today. Beautiful sunny day. I'm feeling productive last week I got lots of stuff done that I needed to get done like work-wise so I'm feeling good and I'm feeling motivated I've washed my hair hair is feeling good as well so yeah let's get on with the day oh so I've just popped upstairs because I forgot to put my deodorant on this morning because it was such a busy morning we literally had to do the school run uh, I don't usually go with Mark but this morning I went with Mark because um we had to go to Tesco's afterwards and then I had to go to home base because I wanted to get some paint for the bistro set that we've got outside I've painted it a couple of times now and I wanted to paint it again so I'll, I'll show you that later on when we paint it so we've been buzzing around all morning and I forgot to put my deodorant on this morning because I was literally in such a rush. I think it was because I washed my hair and then I did all my makeup and stuff and I just like got completely sidetracked doing the boys school bags this morning but I did want to show you my new deodorant anyway because I've been trying this one out. This is a wild deodorant so it's new to me. This is so cute. It's got my name on it. You can actually get your name engraved on the case. So cute. The refills are actually 100% plastic free and this one smells so good. This one is the linen fresh and I think it's cotton fresh and sea salt fragrance. Oh my God. It literally smells so, so nice. So this is what I've been currently using. I am such a loyal person when it comes to deodorant. I was using the one before this for a few years, probably two or three years, but I've recently been introduced to this one. I've seen it all over Instagram. I've seen so many people raving about it. And because it's a natural deodorant, I thought this would be absolutely great because it's aluminium free, also paraben free and it's gonna be more gentle on my skin. And I love the packaging. So you can choose from six different cases for this. So they come in different colors. Basically, that is how it comes. It's a cream product. I really love cream deodorants, like when they're like creamy like this. I hate using sprays. I never find that they work well on me, but the cream products that you just apply straight to your skin is amazing. So this is the one I've got. It's a very easy, sustainable switch, which is good. The reusable case is also made from aluminum. So it's designed obviously to last a very long time. So this is what my box looks like. I got one case and I also got three refills, but you can also go for one case and five refills. You can subscribe to it or you can just buy it one off, which is great as well. So you haven't got to be tied into anything. So it's up to you how you buy it. It's so easy to assemble. All you need to do is like pinch the little side buttons and then you pull the lower part of the case open, pop the refill in and then put it back in and then you twist the base a few times and then you're ready to go. It's literally so, so easy to do. It's a completely natural deodorant and I've heard that it can take a couple of weeks for your body to get used to it. So it's still early days for me, but it smells so nice. I've really been enjoying using it. And then also what I like about these is that these little refills here are 100% compostable. So I could put this in my little compost bin that I've got in the garden and that's all I need to do. So they're plastic free. There's loads of different scents to choose from. I think there's seven different fragrances to choose from. I've got this one here. This is orange zest. And then I've also got lemon meringue. I'm excited to keep going with it. I've seen a few people that have made the switch to this deodorant and they absolutely love it. So I'm looking forward to trying it even more. I have also got a discount code. So if you would like to get 20% off your first purchase with Wild, you can do that. All you need to do is use the code Lisa. You can either go to the website wearewild.com or I will leave a link down below for you. So you can just click the link and go straight to the website from that. But yeah, if you have tried Wild, let me know how you're getting on with it. I will give you an update as well to let you know how I'm getting on as the weeks go on. So thank you so much to Wild for sponsoring this part of the video. And let's get on with the rest of the day, shall we? Good morning, everyone. So today, as you know, we'll have a productive day in the Prudent household. 
um, we decided we're going to start painting the fence of the the corner garden where the paradise garden is. I have got like we got recently like a spray gun for it, but it's really windy today, so I'm not too sure about using it. That's the paint there we're going to use. Uh, Cupronal step, Cupronal natural stone. So that's the colour we're going for, and I'm going to start it here. I've already set up the ladder and things. So this is the fence we're going to paint today. But what I'm thinking is I'm going to paint the top part like this bit by hand, and then I'm going to spray the bottom bit because we never never tried it. I want to see how quick it is. So I'll just do a quick before what we're going to do. So you imagine when it's like, well, see I painted that wall like a month ago or something. But you imagine when this wall's all like the fence is all light as well this side. So that, that you can see that white really brightly there now. Obviously that's really going to pop that fence once it's done. So I've just come out to check on Mark. I've just had my lunch. Orlando's having his nap, isn't he? Yeah, I literally just started like two minutes ago. I like the colour. I think it's going to work really well. It's going to look really good, I think. Actually. Yeah. That was the same in the old garden though, wasn't it? They'd never painted it. Yeah. I wonder if that paint that I bought earlier would work really nicely on these gates. These need a good clean look. They're so cobwebby. I may, maybe we should paint that this, this colour as well. We have got a spray gun, yeah, but we don't want to obviously get the house, so maybe we could do it for the bottom bit. I think I'm going to paint this little bistro set today. Well, I need to give it one coat. I think Mark's just going to... I need to just sand it lightly um, because it's all, like, chipping now. So this is from last year. I obviously painted it black. But this year I'm going to paint it green where it's like a really soft green i haven't seen the color only like on the tin but i did google it and it does look like a lovely color so i'll show you that in a second so yeah that is the before of our little bistro set this is a paint that i went for so it's santex 10 year exterior satin in the color soothing green and this is what it looks like i love the color you can't really tell because obviously it's so bright out here Okay, so I've done one coat now. I definitely should have put Zinsser on before, I think, because it would have been easier to cover because it's not that thick, this paint. So it's definitely going to need another two, maybe three coats, but I'll let you know how I get on after the second coat. So that is what it looks like. Obviously, you can see there is a big difference already. So I'm excited for it to dry. Right, so Mark's done this much painting. I've just finished painting that bistro set. That didn't take too long of a brush. No, but we're going to give it a go with the spray gun now and see how that goes. This is what my little bistro set's looking like now. Doesn't look too bad actually after one coat. I'm really pleased with it. I love the colour actually. Nah, nah. It's upside down, isn't it? No, it has to be that way, doesn't it? Because it's got to go in that, isn't it? Hey? It's that way, ain't going to go in, is it? Isn't Why? It? Well, gravity, isn't it? Or not? Oh, no. No, it's that way. I thought it would have been that way. Don't be so silly. It's that way. These bits pinch in. Yeah, I know. You need to put the colour in there first, the paint. You've got to put the paint in it, have you? Um, oh, God, I've got grease all over me now from this thing. There's a little funnel here. Oh, really? But I don't know if you need any of these bits. That's it. Hold on, do you not need like some other bits for it first? You hook it onto the side. Uh, oh, <laughs> what is that? <laughs> is it's it a funnel? It. Nah, that's not. Nah, it ain't a funnel, is it? <laughs> what is it? I, I reckon this is going to drain the paint. When you ready? Right, ready? Must be done now. Yeah. Oh, this is exciting. Are, I'm genuinely excited about this. It's like, um, it's really do you used to do spray tans? A bit like it's that, so isn't, it? Them, isn't it? You got paint on your... You just last me. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> wow, oh my God, don't drop it on me. Well, I need to... I know, I'm trying to hold the camera. I think you're too close there, like that. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so this is as far as we're getting with the fence in today. But it's looking good. It looks so much better than that colour. Look at that, how much darker it is over there compared to over here. So this is the Cupronal natural stone. And we've only got all of that to do. 
Oh my god, it's gonna take forever, isn't it? But I really like it. it. Looks good. Makes it look so much fresher, doesn't it? And like brighter over there. I'm not really sure how I feel about the spray gun. I feel like I feel like the spray gun. It probably takes a similar amount of time, but it's obviously it comes out a lot thinner, so you need to spend more time on the panels. So I don't know whether it's quick or if it's similar kind of timing, really. But I think it probably is a bit quicker actually, but you probably would need a few more coats. As you can see that one there is dry and so that's the first one that Mark did with the brush. And then this one is what we did with the spray gun. And then over here, this is the table and chairs. This has just had one coat, so that's what it looks like after one coat. I need to wait for it to dry now, so I won't be able to do it now until tomorrow or the next day because it needs 16 hours to dry before I can put another coat on. So I'm not going to bother putting anything else on it today. But I really like the colour, it's really really pretty, it's such a gorgeous just like soft pale green which is exactly what I wanted because I've got some really lovely cream cushions to put on top of here which I'll show you it probably in another video now because I don't think I'll get this done within this video today <laughs> good morning everyone it's Tuesday today I'm just getting the boys ready for school we're gonna go to school in a minute aren't we Landy we take the boys to school yeah <laughs> the boys are just going in the garden me and Landy are ready now aren't we Landy are we going to go to town? I'm just going to pop to town after I've dropped the boys off at school. I'm going to go to Primark quickly because it's going to rain now for the rest of the week. So I thought I better get out now because I won't get out as much the rest of the week because it's going to be very rainy. So I'm going to go to town. Very exciting. Better go because we're going to be late. Actually, we're five minutes early, which is good. I feel like I'm always way more organised when Mark's not here. It's way less stressful, actually. Are you ready to go? We're coming. So let's go boys. Hang on boys, I need to get Landy's push chair. And I need to put my coat on, one second. Hi guys, so I just made it back from town. It was so nice actually. Orlando was a really, really good boy. I brought loads of snacks to make sure he was happy going around the shops and he was absolutely fine. I popped into Primark so I thought I'd show you what I got. They didn't have much in Primark actually. I just bought myself a couple of nighties and some bits for the boys. So this one's got on it. What's it say? Allergic to Mondays. Just this like cute pink nighty. I really like this colour on me. I think it suits me. It's just a really gorgeous fuchsia pink. And it was only £5. So I got that one. I got it in a large. Nice and comfy. I also got this one. Which I like the pattern of. I thought it was very pretty as well. And this one also was £5. But it has got like little buttons down the front. Which I actually prefer. I prefer the ones with the buttons down the front. And I really love this kind of blue and white pattern. This one is a bit longer than the pink one. But knowing me, I'll shrink it when it goes in the wash. <laughs> I shrink everything. I also got some hair clips. I get these all the time from Primark. But I also got these ones as well. Because I thought I would give those a go. Like if I want to like clip my hair up. Now it's getting a little bit longer. I might be able to do it. So I've got some bigger ones as well. I got myself some cute socks. These are just some Mickey Mouse socks. But they're kind of those like sports socks. You know what I mean? Like the trainery kind of socks that you could wear. So if I'm wearing like cycling shorts with some trainers. These would look quite nice with them I was thinking. So I got those. And they were £3. They've got like a mint green colour in there. Baby pink and then cream. So I thought that was quite pretty. And then I got myself a belt. I don't know if this is a waist belt, but I put it around my waist and it fits around my waist. So I just needed one of those. Just for when I'm wearing really floaty dresses and sometimes I want to kind of cinch myself in at the waist. So I got one of those, just gold buckle on there. Black, plain, it was only £2. So I thought I would get that because I never can find any of the belts I have in this house. I don't know where any of them are. I also got Vinny and Renzo some sandals because I bought Orlando some sandals the other day. So he's got two pairs now for the summer, like all ready to go. But Vinny and Renzo haven't got any. So I got these. I thought these were so nice. They're going to go with quite a lot of stuff. So they're more of like, um, they're kind of like a beigey green. I like a bit of a khaki, but I really like those. So I got one for Vinny, one for Renzo. Um, Vinny's ones look a bit small actually. I'm hoping they're going to fit him. They're a size two. Five pounds each, which I think you cannot go wrong with that. Five pounds each. Um, and that was everything that I got. I made sure Orlando had his snacks. He had this little snack pot in um, Primark. Let me go get the other two bits that I got as well because I got some bits from TK Maxx and an amazing charity shop find. I'm really, really happy with it. So let me go show you that as well. Right, sorry, I'm back now. I got some bits from TK Maxx as well. So TK Maxx is our only we don't have like a home sense nearby our nearest home sense is probably about 40 minutes away but they obviously tk maxx holds a lot of like the stuff that home sense has so i got this mat and i thought this would be good for the kitchen what do you think it's very similar to one that i got before actually but it's much bigger um it was only 12.99 so i thought that would be great 
in the kitchen you know like where the uh, sink is i'm hoping that's not going to be too big i'll show you it in the kitchen in a minute and i also bought a new mug because you know i've got a mug addiction the mug addiction is real and this one is so nice i just couldn't i couldn't not get it because it's the perfect size for me this is the size i love my mugs to be and i also thought that mark could use this one as well because it's like you know quite nice so yeah this one is actually handmade in portugal how not handmade made in portugal ceramic with over 40 years experience in ceramic production made in portugal by v ceramic i think it's really it is so nice i just love it so yeah i'm gonna go wash this in a minute and have a cup of tea i'm very excited about that and then i walked past a charity shop because the charity shop near me they didn't have an awful lot but then i did see this picture and i thought i really love the frame and then the more i looked at it i thought actually i really like the picture as well the painting so this is actually a painting and it's so nice look at this frame like this is what it looks like it's so beautiful so basically it's like this golden frame and then in here it's got that kind of like canvas or linen i don't really know what material it is but it's so nice and then this is actually a proper canvas because when i went to go buy it i turned it around and look they've actually put the canvas onto the frame so maybe they did the painting first and then put the frame around it i'm not really sure but look at that i thought that was so nice initially i was like oh i can just get it for the frame and then change the picture inside it but actually i don't think i will because i really like this i think it's really nice so yeah and I, actually i don't even know how i would go about changing it you'd have to take this all out i wouldn't want to damage that so yeah i got this and it was only 6.99 6.99 i can't believe how cheap that was and i just think this is going to look so nice in the house don't know where i'll put it yet maybe like in the hallway somewhere or in the living room but i just really love bringing the old and new into this house so i thought that was really nice let me know what you think of it so that is my new painting for 6.99 i literally got such a bargain there didn't i let me go show you what this rug looks like as well but oh my god so happy with that okay so this is where i've put the rug this is a perfect spot for it actually i just need to take everything out and like flatten it properly but for 12.99 i think that is really really cute and now i've got something to stand on when i'm standing at the sink doing my washing up and stuff so yeah i think that works really well the colors are gorgeous and it works really well in here so i'm pleased with that i've also just put the picture up here on this shelf for now oh my god i love it so much looks beautiful here because you've got like the greenery from the bonsai tree and it just goes with these with the little gold detailing oh how lovely is that so beautiful so i'm gonna go put all of those bits away now and have a little play with orlando then by the time i've done that it will literally be lunch time so i'm gonna leave the vlog here thank you so much for watching guys don't forget to check out wild deodorant i will leave a link down below for you and then also use my code lisa for 20 percent off your first purchase thank you so much for watching i will see you all in my next video bye guys I don't know what 